guys, so today I hope you had a great day, and I'm going to be reviewing The Fifth Wave and the Infinite Sea, which is Rick Yancey's Alien Invasion Trilogy. Uh, only the first two books are out, so I can't really review the third one, right? But today I'm going to be talking about the characters, the storyline, the writing, and whether I just liked it or not. So if you've been interested in these books, or if you've read these books, stay tuned. Also, I will be letting you know if I get into any spoilers so that you can just move the time forward. Or maybe I'll just do half and half so that you stop listening at a cutoff point. Or if you want to keep listening because you're one of those people, then that's up to you. Um, so just to get into what this book is about. Now, this book is about... Um, no, not the future, but aliens are... A mothership comes over the Earth, and we're not quite sure what it wants. And we try contacting it, and it's just not answering us. There's no contact happening. We don't know if they're here to stay in peace or here to invade. And so it causes a lot of panic and worry. But then after a couple days of them being here, we adapt like we always do. And we sort of forget, we know it's there, but it's just there. And then the first wave happens. Now, the first wave is they completely cut out our power supply. Cars, airplanes, batteries, electricity, you name it, it doesn't work anymore. And this, even though this doesn't physically hurt us, it causes a lot of panic, it makes people go mad, and it makes us scared and a lot of people when we are scared we act irrationally and this seems to happen in this book it caused a lot of chaos and then the second wave happens now i was a bit confused about what the second wave was from what i understood it was complete destruction so um i feel like they use natural disasters if i am doing this wrong please correct me and i'll explain why i could be wrong later on in the video um they use like tsunamis earthquake and it destroyed all of our coast i believe um i didn't really grasp that part but from what i understood that was the second wave now the third wave was they put a disease on earth and this disease killed 98 percent of the population so it killed billions of people, 7 billion people died with this disease and there was no cure. You could survive it, you could not, but it killed most people. It started off by giving you a fever, you started getting really sick, you were coughing off, coughing up blood, you changed completely who you were. and. That was the biggest wave out of all of them. Then the fourth wave, and the fourth wave was they were on Earth with us. They were shooting people, they were killing people, they were called silencer, there was drones. So the fourth wave, to sum up, was just they were among us. And now the fifth wave. Now, um, this book happens after the fourth wave or the beginning or endish to the fourth wave and leaning into the fifth wave and you find out what the fifth wave is about three quarters through the book. So I'm going to be talking about the fifth wave later on in the video because that's going to be a spoiler. But basically that is what the fifth wave is about. Um, going into this book, I thought it was a super interesting summary. I thought it was super original, and I was like, whoa, this is really cool how they are invading in waves, and it just felt different. I was really excited to read this book. Now, before you read this book, please keep in mind that I don't know about other people, but I had a lot of trouble understanding what certain things were happening. Now, um, this book doesn't have one main point of view, it switches, and sometimes it's in the third and sometimes it's in the first person. I did not know it switched the first character, the first chapter, so I was really confused. I was like, what? So I didn't appreciate this book as much as I could have, despite the synopsis being so interesting to me and so appealing. Um, I would give this book three out of five stars. Now I'm trying to make this sound as best as possible because it's hard to explain my opinion about this book. This book 
is an incredible storyline. It feels realistic. I feel like this plan could actually work. Like, Rick Yancey's an alien. He wrote this plan, and we're all dumb humans, so we read it, and then we think, oh, this is a really cool book, and it's actually going to happen. How realistic this book felt. Um, also, there's a movie coming out, which might interest other people, but I was just... The story was amazing, guys. It was... It made humans look dumb, and it was just incredible. I find there was hidden messages behind it showing how humans are so gullible, and when we get in fear, we believe whatever we want to hear, and we just don't stand on our own two feet like we used to. So that was good. I love the characters. Um, Ethan, I believe his name is Ethan. Ben Parrish, aka Zombie, um, the main character, I loved all the characters, I thought I, they had very distinct personalities, um, the character development for all of them was really well done, um, but I think what really gave this book the low rating that I gave it was that I only gave, was, I only understood like 75% of the book. I really I really wish I gave it 5 out of 5 stars because I wish I understood and it's just so hard because I really wanted to like this book. Also, Rick Yancey does this thing where he makes you suspect something and then he slowly but gradually makes you unsuspect it and the thing you initially expected to happen actually happens. But he makes you doubt yourself, which I thought was really cool. But if I would have understood it better, maybe I would have liked it even better. So that's all I can say for you people who have not read the book. I don't want to spoil for more. I know it wasn't the best synopsis I could give. And I wasn't explaining my opinion very well, but I'm very stuck on this topic. I don't know how to explain it. The plot line was great. The storyline was great. The characters were great. The writing was nah. I didn't really understand it. Too many adjectives used as nouns. It was all over the place and I thought it was hard to understand for me personally. Now getting into the spoilers. I love the romance in this book. There wasn't a lot of it but it was perfectly well put in. Um, the fifth wave. Oh, the actual fifth wave blew my mind. It made me feel like humans are dumb. Now, the fifth wave is basically where all the... How do I explain this? Okay, so the aliens went out and took all the children under 18, I believe, and brought them to this camp heaven and they just said most of you who are still watching have read this but just to go over it they said it's safe here um we're gonna teach you how to fight and then you're gonna go fight the aliens and they put chips in them they trained them they graduated and they shipped them off and the way you can distinct an alien is you had like this goggle thing and if you glowed red you were not an alien and if you glowed green you were an alien now I thought it should be if you go green you were human if you go red you were an alien but no it's the opposite so then um, all the soldiers well the main characters we see which is Ben Parrish the main characters old crush from high school we she's with her little brother as well it gets really complicated um so we see them go into this mission and they have this thing where they say they go Dorothy and going Dorothy means that you are going against Camp Heaven's wishes and you're going crazy because of the pressure and the stress and one of the characters goes Dorothy and she's like all of this is a lie nah, nah, nah. and she takes her chip out and we realize that all of a sudden she's glowing green and so basically they've been killing other survivors that did not have a chip in them and who were not brainwashed like they were so 
they trained humans to kill humans and then the biggest twist of all is that chip was a degnate like a deg something that when you press a button it explodes and it kills you so after the brainwall shoulders killed all of the survivors they were gonna push a button that killed the rest of humanity this part blew my mind because it felt too real i felt like a stupid human because i would have believed it and you would have believed it we were just we're so used to listening to our government and li listening to the laws and listening to people's rules that we don't know how to self-control ourselves. and in a situation like that when an authority comes up you're relieved you're like they know what to do i don't have to be put in a situation where i don't know what to do and i have to critically think on what to do when I'm trying just to survive. So everyone just chose to believe these people because they were superior, they had more of an authority, and they seemed legit. So it's just crazy because if you do tell other people, they're gonna say, you went Dorothy, and they eliminate you. So it just felt realistic, it just felt believable, and it was great. Now, I know I've been all over the place for this video. Please let me know if you've read this book and you feel the same way I did. Confused at some point, but overall like the story. Um, for instance, I did not understand how... I, I didn't understand the descriptive writing. Like, the second wave, I had no idea what that was about. I was trying to understand. Maybe it was the vocabulary, because I, my vocabulary is not that advanced. But it's not poor either. Usually when I read a book and there's high vocabulary, I can still read and understand. But maybe this one was too overwhelming. I'm not sure. I'm very sorry for the confusing video, guys. But yeah. Now, just briefly, the reason why I did not like the Infinite Sea as much is because my favorite character wasn't in it as much, and I felt like it was almost unnecessary because in the end of the fifth wave, they blow up Camp Heaven to run away, and this book is what happens after they're running away and they're coming back after them. Uh, one of them got injected with liquid that made her like have alien senses again I did not understand too much I pushed through this one to be honest it's exactly 300 pages and I had to push through it I don't understand if there is aliens or there is no aliens if I'm, I'm I don't know I don't know um, I really hope when the movie comes out it's going to clarify. I feel like this is one of these things where the movie is going to be better than the book because the book, the description that was used was really confusing and the movie, it's not going to be confusing because you're watching it and you're going to know what's happening without there being huge words being put in there and adjectives in every single sentence. I was looking up because I was imagining the movie screen. So, um, this book, like I said, is after Camp Heaven explodes. Um, I forgot to mention it, the main character in the fifth wave, throughout the book, she is going after to find her little brother, which is in Camp Heaven with her high school crush. And she goes in there with her alien boyfriend and tries to find him. And this is after she found him and found her crush and her boyfriend and all of her crushes, like... A drill team they all reunite and they all go um, together it's guys I'm trying to express this book as best as I can but I don't know that much about it um it was good this book was good it had some parts that were better than the fifth wave some parts were clearer than the fifth wave um yeah I don't know what else to say besides uh, watch the movie and Read the book and tell me if I'm blonde when I read these. Usually I understand books very well, but these ones I didn't. So, 